Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. I want to talk to you about sport bowling leagues. You know, there's been a lot of uh, interest over the years of sport bowling leagues, sport bowling tournaments. The USBC established these uh, procedures, these um, uh, options for bowlers so that you can bowl on very challenging lane conditions. You can have uh, a way to test your skills on things other than the typical lane conditions you see in your in your regular bowling leagues across the country. Now, here at BowlingBall.com, we did a series of articles uh, posted on the Bowlversity section of the website, uh, the USBC red pattern, the blue pattern, and the white pattern, and you can read about that. It explains a little bit of the differences. Essentially, the red pattern is the uh, typical standard house shot, the house condition. Uh, you'll hear that commonly referred to. And it's the uh, condition that is the easiest uh, to hit the pocket and the highest scoring condition typically around the country. Now the red pattern is where most people bowl your leagues or your tournaments. However, the white pattern or blue pattern are variations. They have less uh, amount of oil in the center of the lane, for example, and, and, and a little bit more of a buildup of oil toward the edges of the lane. So you don't get the forgiveness when you don't make a quality shot hitting your target accurately with the right speed and right axis of rotation, all that. Uh, I talked recently to, we spoke with uh, Steve Wunderlich, who is the director of bowler development and sport bowling for the United States Bowling Congress. And Steve had some interesting things to say. First of all, uh, sport bowling continues in the United States. What happens is right now you can bowl in the PBA experience league patterns. Those are some different options that you can bowl on in a sport bowling condition. Uh, and the uh, although the contract is expiring at the end of the 2000 10-11 uh, season, uh, Steve feels very confident that the PBA and the USBC will uh, update their contract for the future and can, proprietors can continue to promote sport bowling leagues, sport bowling tournaments where you can bowl on the same conditions that you see the pros bowl on on TV. Now obviously uh, you, you, you want to know a little bit about why and here's what's going on. The, the sport bowling leagues, first the bowling center has to certify as a sport bowling league center and then they have to follow certain procedures to do lane conditions and make the lane conditions available for the organized leagues or for the tournaments. Uh, they have to be certified, they have to have access to a tape take up device where they can uh, register online at sportbowling.com for example. Uh, you want a, an approved sport bowling lane dressing inspection prior uh, and so on. All those things have to submit graphs and or tapes every week for competition. So there's some work the bowling centers have to do to provide you the opportunity to bowl on sport bowling conditions. So it's easy to understand how seriously the USBC takes the sport bowling uh, competitions. Uh, for bowlers, however, it's very enjoyable to see how well you might score on a sport bowling lane patterns versus normal house conditions. And in fact, the USBC provides an average adjustment scale. It's a chart to help convert the differences in average from some sport bowling conditions to house conditions. Now the uh, average adjustment chart, uh, what it does is uh, the conditions on sport bowling, as you know, are more challenging than the typical house conditions. Therefore, the bowler averages under the sport bowling conditions will be lower. And we have confirmed this through the analysis of scores from sport bowling leagues and tournaments uh, for a very long period of time. And it's not a re-rate. This is not a re-rate of your average uh, of the bowler. Its purpose is to allow for a fair adjustment that would be expected if a bowler of a bowler on a standard league condition. Now the adjustment scale does not supersede the ability of a tournament director to further adjust upward any bowler's entering average in a given tournament. It's an additional data and it's obtained with slight changes uh, to the scale and that might occur. So if the updated scale is published, you can get an idea about how you stack up against sport bowling conditions. Let me just give you a couple examples. Uh, if you're in the 135 to 141 average range on a sport condition, USB says you'll average about 165 on a, on a house condition. But if you average up between 157 and 167 in a sport condition, you're about a 187 bowler on normal lane conditions. And moving upward, if you're a um, 
between 187 and 200 average on sport bowling, you're going to be 210, 211, 212, right in that area on a house condition pattern. So all these different uh, average calculations, these adjusted averages on this chart, and by the way, the chart is under the on the uh, bowl versity section under uh, sport bowling, uh, the article entitled Sport Bowling Leagues. And you can find it, you'll find the chart, you can access it and get some idea about what the sport bowling challenging conditions might offer you. You might want to ask your bowling centers locally in your home area where uh, that are certified for sport bowling leagues. You might even want to join a league or get your team in a league. And uh, test yourself on these conditions, find out where there's some sport bowling tournaments. Quite often if you go to the Nationals, the USBC National Championship Tournament, they'll use a, a white pattern or a blue pattern or a very mild uh, house condition red pattern. And the conditions might be more challenging than you're used to seeing when you bowl at home in your leagues. So getting familiarized with sport league conditions, bowling some sport uh, tournament conditions, uh, not only can be fun, it can prepare you for other tournaments that you might uh, anticipate getting involved with in the future. Anyway, we wanted to give you some uh, idea about how uh, Sport Bowling League has grown uh, uh, in popularity uh, through the years, and we urge you to get, and get involved in it. If you're a serious bowler, another little byproduct of Sport Bowling Leagues or Sport Bowling Tournaments, bowling on that Sport Bowling condition will sharpen you up. It will make you, uh, uh, force you to make better deliveries. Better deliveries being uh, regulate your speed control, your loft, consistent release, playing the right angles, making the correct adjustments, and learning more about adjustments on sport league uh, patterns and more challenging lane conditions will just make you a better bowler in the long run, particularly when you go back to bowling on standard league conditions. So anyway, that's what the sport bowling does. If I have one constructive bit of criticism on sport bowling is I don't feel the USBC has done a good enough job in getting out to the public and local bowling centers and doing seminars or training sessions to familiarize people with sport bowling to try to encourage people and get them interested or pique their interest in getting involved in sport bowling leagues and tournaments. Uh, they should work a little more closely with the proprietors on that, but that's just a personal opinion. I, I endorse what Steve Wunderlich and his group is doing at USBC, and uh, I hope that you take it upon yourself to get involved, to find places you can bowl on sport conditions, and test yourself. It's a lot of fun. Thank you.